Hey everybody, it's Josh from Gems Hobbies. I uh we just got back the other day from Zombie Palooza. It was set up as it had a couple trails and they had a bunch of events for 110 crawlers. Um it took us about 10 hours to get down there. We had a little issue with the truck getting a flat on 75 and not a huge deal plug the tire back on the road roll in about midnight friday the event starts early um, saturday morning we get there and registration's fine everything's cool every checked in good um First event was rock bouncing. We didn't bring in our riffs with us. So the next event was the monster truck freestyle. So we uh, had looked at the rules and we made sure that we were ready for them. So these are the rules. Tug of War, Zigzag Drags, Mega Truck Race, Monster Truck Freestyle, Deadlift, Rock Bouncing. 110 scale rigs, straight axle only. So there was four of us that went. Um, and I'll leave this up for a second to explain it. That two of us, well, three of us, were going to participate in the Monster Truck Freestyle. My buddy brought a Gorgon. Jericho brought his SMT 10 Axial Monster Truck. And we brought the Low C King Sling. So apparently, the group down there is very competitive in these competitions that they set up. I was told that I had the wrong tires on the king sling and I couldn't compete. There was no entry fee. There was no cash prize. It was supposed to be just a fun event. And these were the rules of the event, as I just showed a second ago. So I drove 10 hours and couldn't compete. The Gorgon couldn't compete because it didn't have a straight axle. I've never done a monster truck freestyle. It was a stock truck. The Gorgon was stuck. We just wanted to participate. Instead, we watched them do their freestyle and rightfully so, have a kid win, which they should win. They should be encouraged to come back, do these events, stay in the hobby. So what was the big deal about me running skinny tires on that? So we were a little upset. Go take our trucks back to the truck, take our trail trucks out. The trail was be nice. Nothing to do with it being muddy or anything, like still a good trail. Um, we did one each day. Probably took half hour um, walking slow because of the mud. Nice trail. Come back, visit all the vendors. There's a ton of vendors there, um, reefs. Operation 11 Charlie, Dixieland, FMS, uh, Crawler, one crawler call it was Crawler, another crawler company, uh, J Concepts, RC Every Day, Juice Box Hobbies, um, Boom Racing. If I forget anyone, sorry. Um, they were all there. Nice stuff on display, all enclosed. So you were out of the weather. Really cool. So we decided to do the tug of war. And again, I'll share my screen so you can see the tug of war is 10 scale rigs, heavyweights, and then lightweights. Um, let me show you right here. 10 scale rigs, heavyweights, lightweights. Everyone there had purpose-built trucks. There was weights hanging off of them. The guy, the one truck 
in the heavyweights was 64 pounds, which they said in their videos, if you're going to compete, don't do heavyweights because it's pointless because they have these crazy trucks. Well, the truck that won in lightweight was 12.9 pounds. They purpose built all these trucks. They ran the event and they participated in it. So really no point. Um, that was the first day's events. As we're walking away from the tug of war, there's a couple kids talking to their dad. Hey, we want to try that. The dad stops and goes, no. All this stuff's purpose-built built. Purpose-built purpose built trucks. No point in us even trying or participating. It's pretty sad that the people who drove there paid their money to get in. Didn't want to participate in the big draw of the show because two trails isn't the big draw of the show. It's the events. So the second day we get there, it dried up some and everything's, you know, people's moving well. We go down for the mega trucks. And they have a picture of the mega trucks like this LMT, SMT, and custom built mega slash monster trucks. In the event, if you got stuck, you were done. But if you rolled over, they could put you back on your tires and you could keep going. The guy that went to the finals ran the show, was running everything. And he said that they rolled him over four times, so he wasn't going to take the win. The other guy won. He still knocked other people out. And you could run monster truck tires in the mega truck, but not mega truck tires in the monster truck. So I saw this and we're like, okay, let's go run in the second trail, go back to the truck. Get our trail trucks. The trail was awesome. I'll have video of the trails later, including me falling in one of them. Um, so the trail was cool. Come back. They had done the zigzag drags while we were out on the trails. And we're like, we're going to try this deadlift. I mean, we're there. We ran both trails. We're waiting for giveaways. So... Deadlift, one-tenth scale, crawler-based rigs, no heavy weights, bouncers, bashers, monster trucks, or mega trucks. Well, it again came down to the finals of the people running it, had their own trucks in it, and it was the 12.9-pound truck versus a truck on 4 or 6S that had, was, had a cage built for it to hang over the back. Now, it didn't look super built like the other one, but obviously we didn't see underneath it. And it came down to those two and some crazy bait. Um, the only event that anyone from the outside won, as far as I remember, was the FMS because they ran FMS trucks and everybody competed with them. Um, the rock bouncing was won by a kid who's sponsored by Reefs, incredible driver. Kid builds awesome stuff. He should win. But on the stuff that they do, they won it all. They judged it all. They told you if you could or couldn't run. And I drove between going there and back around 20 hours for 16, 18 hours of an event to be told I couldn't participate. It's not hitting the mark. I think it can be a great event. People were pretty nice other than saying that my tires were illegal to run a fun event where the only thing was a trophy and I had no expectations of winning. At first told me I could run exhibition and then said, nope, you can't even run that. I don't get it. Like, why are you drawing people here? to do your events that are supposed to be fun and tell them they can't do it because they have a wrong tire. I could see if I had some kind of X max out there trying to just send it into the crowd and it's a giant scale. 
but it's the same truck they're running that had a skinnier tire. A little bit taller tire and skinnier. I don't get it. I was highly disappointed in that. Georgia Rock Zombies, if you're going to run an event like this, maybe not make it where you win everything because it's your trucks that are built for the events or have your own class and then people from the outside class. I don't know. I can say that I won't be back unless there's big changes. Now, they had a great giveaway. Everybody got something. That's awesome. Thanks for all their sponsors. I appreciate them. Appreciate them taking the time to make sure everybody got something. That's really cool. But it didn't make up for... I didn't come there to win stuff. I came to do an RC event. And I didn't get to do the events that I wanted to because I had wrong tires or you had to have a purpose-built truck. Like if I was going to a crawling competition, I'd do it. Like I built a class one crawling truck because I knew the rules, which are posted beforehand, and I know what to expect. This is crawler trucks supposed to be going out having fun. Monster trucks, which in my opinion, a king slug is a monster truck. I don't know. But I can just say, I hope they do better. I wouldn't recommend it until they change some things. Um, and I don't even know if they'll see this, but really, I've, I've been to events across the East Coast. USTE, obviously, last year, Beat the Creek, Axial Fest, the Gauntlet. And by far, this was the worst. I'd go back to any of them. I'd rather drive to Florida again for the same amount of time because they had stuff to do in the event and people weren't excluded. And they said what would run and what wouldn't, not just change the rules when you showed up because it has the wrong tires. So that's my opinion for what it's worth. And uh, I'll have some videos from that coming up soon. Take it easy, everyone. Go out and RC. Get a friend. Go with you. You never know who needs some time away to go do something and RC. So 